Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install ArcOS on the Battle XP G350. I just got this device a few days ago and uh, it was running its own version of Botocera that it had installed on here, like a custom version, uh, but I decided that uh, we're going to be installing ArcOS on this device. I will say it's, uh, it's very similar uh, to a few other devices that I have. It kind of reminds me of the Ambernic RG35XX, um, or I'm sorry, the Ambernic RG35XX. Yeah, I, I was correct the first time. <laughs> uh, I, I, it kind of reminds me of that body, uh, but it also kind of reminds me of the R36S. So I actually have those as well here. Um, so I'm just going to kind of compare them. But uh, as you can see, like the, the frame of this device kind of resembles this like it kind of has that like curve to it R reminds me a lot of the old uh the old game boys like the original game boy um especially this one it has like that dmg color to it uh but it kind of reminds me of the r36s2 just because of the form factor with the the joysticks and uh the buttons here but the d-pad is very uh very similar to an ambernick d-pad it feels a little bit looser to me but uh, it, it rocks really nice. I was playing some Street Fighter on here yesterday, and the, the gameplay was great. But uh, enough of that. We're going to get into the video. Um, and I'm going to show you step-by-step step on how to get this installed on here. There's a few little tweaks that you have to actually um, put on here before you boot the device. So there's going to be some extra files that you'll need, which I'll provide uh, in the description box. And you can use those. Uh, for this device. So let's get into it right now. We're going to head on the computer and we'll get started. Head over to this website here. I'll provide the link in the description. It is for the ArcOS wiki. We're going to scroll down all the way down here until we find the RG351MP image. And we're going to download that. You can use the Mega Upload or the G Drive. It doesn't matter. Take a few seconds to load here. Alright, we'll download that. It'll take some time, so I'll pause the video and get back to you once it's completed. Alright, so that file has now finished downloading. So now we can go and download the other files that we need. <coughs> this will also be in the description. So we need to download this DTS file, uh, which is going to help with CT, uh, CPU scaling and uh, fixes other issues as well for the joystick with this file right here. So we're going to download both files. Just go here and click view file. And we're going to download the raw file, go back. <clears throat> We're also going to download the joypad file for the right joystick. Alright, and then we're also going to download this DTB replacement file. Alright, so that's all the files that you're going to need. Uh, and then we're going to need a flasher, something like Blender Etcher or Raspberry Pi Imager. So I'm just going to use the Raspberry Pi Imager. And we'll get over to that. So give me one moment. Alright, so now I'm using the Raspberry Pi Imager. So we're going to click on Choose Device. No filtering. Choose Operating System. Scroll all the way down. Use Custom. And mine is in my Downloads file or folder. <clears throat> it's going to be... The ArcOS RG35 or 351MP file and choose storage. It's going to be this USB, which is my micro SD card, just an USB adapter. Would you like to apply custom OS customization settings? No. All existing data on the generic storage device will be erased. Are you sure you want to continue? Click yes. This will take a few moments, so uh, I'll pause the video and I'll get back to you once it's completed. Alright, so now this step is completed. We can remove our SD card and plug it back into the computer so we can add our necessary files. All 
Alright, so now we will access that folder. So, set into our SD card. And we're going to go to the boot folder. So, <clears throat> from the boot folder, we're going to drag these three files. drop them right on the root of your SD card on the boot file or the boot folder and it's going to ask you th the destination already has a file name would you like to replace the file in the destination select that All right and now we're going to remove the SD card and we're going to go on to our battle XP G350 and get everything started Alright guys, so we're back with the device. I inserted my USD card into here. Now let's get this thing started. Make sure it turns on. Okay, it's on. Alright. Just give it a few seconds. There's the Arc OS logo. Or wording. Alright, it's just converting for us. Alright, and it just created a lot of ROM files for us, or folders, I'm sorry. So this process does take uh, a few moments, uh, so just please be advised of that. Alright, so it completed the easy ROM partition conversion to XFAT, and now it's going to reboot and load Narcos. Alright, and there you have it. So how to install ArcOS on the Battle XP G350. Uh, I can also uh, make videos on any other requests that you guys have. Just please let me know in the comments below. And like I said earlier, I will put all of the links that you need for uh, this installation in the description. Uh, so you guys can easily and successfully install this. Um, it took me a little bit on how to figure this out at first. But uh, after asking in the Retro Handhelds Discord and... Uh, just talking to a couple of different people, I was able to figure this out. So hopefully you guys are able to install it and uh, enjoy your happy retro gaming. Uh, but that's all for today. Take care. Bye.